the Mimi, right? Yeah. It is small. Goat skin. hello welcome back i hope you're all doing great today today i have some pieces i purchased from dior to show you which i'm super excited about super excited am i the only one happy here anyway they're not bags definitely because until now i couldn't decide which one to get i have two choices actually the first one is the Lady Dior Mini or Small and the Dior Saddle Bag which I'm really, I am dying to own for quite a long time already. I don't know, I couldn't decide. <laughs> Maybe next time I might finally pull the trigger. Since I wasn't able to buy the bag I wanted, I just went ahead and picked other pieces I like. So, here they are. <laughs> beautiful packaging by the way guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel already please do so and don't forget to turn that notification bell on for new videos i talk about luxury fashion lifestyle in this channel if this is your kind of thing without further ado let's just go ahead and dive into it I love designer belts and I only have a very few pieces in my collection so I decided to add one more. I think that they're just a great, great piece to have in any wardrobe. It actually has the power to completely change your outfit. I have one each from Hermes, Gucci, Louis Vuitton and this obviously is the newest in my collection from Dior. Sorry for the outfit, doesn't suit the belt but I just want to show you how it looks on me. 
So this is the Dior 30 Montaigne reversible belt in hazelnut and uh, black in 20mm uh, embellished with the iconic gold CD buckle. It is made of smooth cowhide leather. I really love its uh, swivel feature so you can easily reverse from hazelnut to black and vice versa. So these removable loops can be worn either in tonal or contrasting fashion. It is really beautiful and it will coordinate with any outfit like jeans, skirt, or a dress. This one is uh, made in Italy and also the current retail price of this belt is 40,000 pesos Philippine PHP. <music> So next is this 30 Montaigne Ivory Oversized Square Sunglasses. Look at the case, guys. <laughs> the ivory acetate frame features gray to pink shaded lenses. It is adorned with a CD signature in gold finished metal like the emblematic clasp of a 30 Montaigne handbag. It is a 100% UV, UVB protection with category of 2 filter. It is also made in Italy. I really love oversized lenses. For sure, I'm going to make the most use out of it since I'm in a tropical country and summer is just around the corner. It's a statement piece uh, or frame for a style that is definitely Dior and it doesn't come in a hard case like you've seen but it's totally fine with me because uh, it's the only thing I want in my handbag. You know, hard cases are very heavy normally and bulky as well. When I saw the sunglasses, I knew I had to have it. It's really gorgeous, beautiful, perfect for summer. So if you're interested, the price is 33,400 pesos from the store. I'm not sure what collection this belongs to, but I really love it. Last piece I purchased from Dior was this Dior Dewey slide in black and nude collection with Dior Jardin de Vea. Jardin de Vea. Sorry for the pronunciation, guys. It's really hard. It, this means winter garden in English. This slide is from the 2023 Cruise Collection. Again, it's a timeless uh, style and it represents Mr. Dior's wall tapestries. So the black and nude uh, upper has an embroidered Christian Dior Paris signature that is, of course, instantly recognized. Recognizable. It has a leather insole with engraved star, Christian Dior's lucky symbol. Mine is in size 39, my perfect shoe size. So the style fits to the size, but those with wider feet, Dior recommends ordering a half size larger than your normal size. So the retail price is 44,500 pesos, by the way. And you know, I really, really love my Dior Toa de G DUA, so I decided to get another one. And um, they're very, very very comfy easy to wear no break-in required so yeah that's it guys if you have questions about any of the pieces I featured today just leave in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up I'll see you in my next one bye